So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to customize a uh, fetching of things that are done by a service data provider. So to do that, I'm going to start with a combo box uh, that allows us to select a value. And if I add options, for example, from employees, and we'll search by name um, over here. You'll see that in a live situation, when I open it up, it shows me a list. And then if I type a character like S, it would look up this character all over in the name. So even if it's at the last point. What happens if you want it to be filtering only by the first letter? Okay, so only when S is at the beginning. To do that, you need to actually customize the way that this combo box is executing the query. Now, this combo box is, of course, based on a service data provider that we just created. So if you go over here to the service data provider, this is what handles all the fetching and filtering and stuff like that for you. Now, one of the things you can do is you can actually customize the fetch action over here. So let's click this and we're going to then customize the fetch action here. So initially what you see here is that we are basically just calling the rest and returning a success. Okay? And in the return, we are actually returning the payload, which is the results of the rest call. And the rest call is basically just calling the endpoint. The other thing that you'll see here is if you look at the action chain itself, it receives a configuration object. So if we run this for a second and we'll open up also the developer tools to see what is being passed in the configuration. Okay, so let's look at the console and we'll clear the console now. And um, for example, we'll type S over here. Okay, you would be able to see the call um, to the configuration in the console. So if we look up configuration, we can see we actually did two calls, one for the initialist and then for filtering. And if you expand this, you would see that in the configuration, we have a hook handler. Okay, Inside it, there's a context. Inside the context, there's a bunch of things, including uh, things like fetch options. And in the fetch options, we have the filter criterion. Okay, And one of the things here is the value that we're passing in. So we have a pointer to this configuration and hook handler in our action chain. And what we just need to do is basically have access to the value and check what it is. So let's go back into our application. And over here, what we're going to do is we're going to add an if statement at the beginning. Okay. And we're going to check if there is a filter criterion. So the condition is going to be based on our configuration hook handler, and then whatever we need after that. So in our case, I'm just going to paste here um, the structure that we have, which is context, fetch options, and whether we have a filter criterion. So if we have a filter criterion, we want to filter. Otherwise, we want to just return everything. So if it's false, we're going to do this flow. If it is true, we're going to add um, our own call to a REST endpoint. We're going to call the same REST endpoint, which is the get all employees. But we're going to modify the query parameter here. So the query parameter is going to be based off what we have in the hook handler. Okay, so of course we don't need again everything. We just need the value from the filter criterion. And now we can actually use that to define the query that we want to execute. So for example, in our case, we want the query to be a name, like, and then open brackets, and then, not brackets, open quote, then we'll add the variable, and at the end, we'll concatenate a percentage, so percentage, with another quote, and end concatenate. Okay, this is an expression, and this is what we're going to pass as the query in this case. And then we need a return, uh, just like this one, a success return. So let's just add a return. 
and the payload is going to be whatever we got from the rest call. Right, so now let's look at our page and we can actually reload this page and then look at the network tab. Okay, so we'll clear it, open the list, we get initial fetch of everything, then we type S and we only get the employees who have S at the beginning. You can also look at the query that we issued over here and you would see that our payload is a queue name like S. Okay, and again, if we just, by the way, modify this, a J, we get only people who start with J. Um, and that's basically how you can configure your own fetch for an SDP and modify default behavior.